So let me go on and re invite Father Philemon to continue our program. Thank you. My dear brothers and sisters in Christ, God has given us a very great gift today. And I, from the bottom of my heart, want to thank you, Father Fouad, for the beautiful message. It is true that we as priests sometimes wish that somebody might come to our community and say the things that we wish we could say or maybe think we're saying and wondering if we're getting across. And you really gave me personally as a brother priest a very great gift. That indeed for us as Christians the biggest problem that we have is apathy. We don't care although we have this call to action. And we say that we want to preserve our Christian identity. Are we knowing our faith at its most basic level? Are we even attending church? And if we don't have this identity, what is the, the purpose of this whole conference? I would like to share just a few short quotes on the topic of apathy. And many of them I think we have heard the first by John Stuart Mill. Bad men need do nothing more to compass their ends than that good men should look on and do nothing. The opposite of love, it is said, is not hate, it is apathy. George Bernard Shaw said the following, he says, the worst sin towards our fellow creatures is not to hate them, but to be indifferent to them. And we might add to be indifferent to our faith. That is the essence of inhumanity. It was Albert Einstein who said, The world will not be destroyed by those who do evil, but by those who watch them without doing anything. And Eli Wiesel, who spent time in a Nazi concentration camp, said, The opposite of love is not hate, it's indifference. The opposite of beauty is not ugliness, it's indifference. The opposite of faith is not heresy, it's indifference. And the opposite of life is not death, but indifference between life and death. Apathy can be overcome by enthusiasm, and enthusiasm can only be aroused by two things. First, an ideal which takes the imagination by storm, and second, a definite intelligible plan for carrying that ideal into practice, Arnold Toynbee. The late Dr. Martin Luther King said it another way. He said, our lives begin to end the day we become silent about the things that matter. And finally, I close with this quote by Mahatma Gandhi in reference to our Lord Jesus Christ, he said on Easter Sunday, a man who was completely innocent offered himself as a sacrifice for the good of others, including his enemies, and became the ransom of the world. It was a perfect act. My dear brothers and sisters in Christ, we have reviewed the call to action in the bulletin a number of times, and I think that we have some details there that are provided, but as I did in my opening message in emphasizing prayer as truly the antidote, humble prayer 
prayer of humility motivated by a service attitude. That if we are to preserve our Christian identity, we must, as Father Saba commended us to do, align our minds and hearts with God's calling. We must see Christ in others. We must glorify God daily and pray and fast and give alms on behalf of those people who are suffering and identify empathetically with the plight of the persecuted Christians of the world. The rest is just details. If we do not have this foundation in its right place, I, I want to say thank you to one and all for being here. I want to say thank you, you know, especially to the people within our own community that work so tirelessly. It's impossible to name everyone. I do want to say thank you especially to Dr. Harry Demopoulos, to Harry Demas, to Richard Pappas, to John Skirtis, to Dr. John Clemis. I want to thank also certainly our own Jim Kettis as the president of our parish council for believing in what we're doing and supporting and participating and encouraging. I want to again thank our keynote speakers, Dr. Anthony Limbarakis and Father Fouad Saba, my dear brother in Christ, for making the journey, both of you, the arduous journey to come to Naples. It's true we have some warm weather here. It's not a bad choice. But we know that you could have been with your families and doing other things, and yet you came. I, I think the next thing on the agenda is to, is to take a look at this beautiful video, which is called Pray for Miriam. It's a real heart gripper. And I think we'll see there that there is hope for us because in the person of this young 10-year-old girl is a person who truly values and embodies her faith in Jesus Christ. Please join me in watching the video. احنا موجودين هنا في المخيم لقينا بنوته فوجئتني بتقول ان هي بتفرج على ليش هيك واسمها مريم ازيك يا مريم زينه انت كيفك انا زي الفل انت بتفرج على ليش هيك فعلا ايوه تحبي سات 7 كيدز ايه انت فين بلدك ايه من قراقوش برضو ايوه من قراقوش انا طيب انت عندك 10 سنين مش كده ايوه طيب قولي لي انت بقى لك قد ايه هنا في المخيم اربع اشهر ايه اكتر حاجه انت حاسه ان هي كنت بتحبيها في قراكوش مش موجودة هنا دلوقتي في المخيم كان عندنا بيت وكنا متونسين بس يعني هنا ما متونسين بس الحمد لله يعني الله سترنا قصدك ايه يعني ايه الله سترنا يعني الله حب حبنا و... وما قبل يعني يقتلونا داعش طيب انت حاسة قد ايه ربنا بيحبك صح ايوه ربنا بيحبنا كلنا مو مو بس انا كل الناس يحبوهم الله وانت شايفه ان ربنا كمان بيحب الناس اللي ممكن تبقى اذتك وزعلتك ولا لا يحبوهم بس ما يحب الشيطان طب انت شايفه انت حاسه باي ناحيه الناس اللي ممكن تبقى خرجتك من البيت وتعبتك ما راح اسويهم ولا شيء بس يعني اقول لله يسامحهم وانت تقدري تسامحيهم كمان ايوه بس دي حاجه صعبه قوي ولا حاجه سهله ان انا اعرف اسامح الناس اللي تعبتني يا مريم ما راح اقتلهم يعني ليه اقتلهم بس بس زعلانه لي طلعوني من بيتنا طلعونا من بيتنا طيب آآ آآ انت كنت بتحب المدرسه في كراكوش صح ايوه وكنت اولى دايما كان عندك اصحاب كمان في المدرسه ايوه موجودين هنا معاكي ولا ما فيش ولا حد فيهم هنا اكو بس ما بس ما اعرف وينهم طيب لو يمكن يكونوا هم دلوقتي بيتفرجوا على التلفزيون بيشوفوا سات سيفن كيدز تحبي تقولي لهم حاجه كان عندي صديقه واذا هوني 
كان عندي صديقة اسمها ساندرا وكنا أنا وهي كل اليوم مع بعضنا وكل المدرسة مع بعضنا مع بعضنا مع أنه كنا بعيدين بيوتنا مع من من بعض بس كنا نحب بعضنا كثير يعني إذا هي غلطت علي وأنا غلطت عليها نسامح بعضنا ومرات كنا نلعب ونغلط على بعض بعض بس نسامح بعضنا وكنا نحب بعضنا بس هسه أريد أشوفها شوف بس أنت مش عارفة هي فين خالص صح؟ ما لا ما أعرف وينها طيب هي لو ساندرا بتفرج علينا دلوقتي اكيد هي كمان بعتلك سلامات و... واكيد هي كمان بتحبك يا مريم بيني كثير وانا حتى احبها ويا ريت اشوفها يوم اكيد ونفسي كمان احنا نبقى معاكي في اليوم ده علوة يعني ايه؟ يعني علوة ارجع اه نرجع على بيوتنا هي ترجع على بيتها ونشوف بعضنا وترجعوا كمان في بيت احلى من البيت الاولاني كيف الله نحن كيف الله هو اللي يعرف طيب انت مش بيجي لك وقت كده تبقي زعلانه بتحسي ان يسوع سابك مثلا؟ لا مرات يعني ابكي على البيت مالتنا ابكي على قرقوش بس ما ازعل انه الله يعني سابنا من قرقوش يعني رحنا من قرقوش اشكره لانه سترنا وجابنا لنا حتى اذا متبهدلين هنا بس الحمد لله الله سترنا انت علمتيني حاجات كتير قوي شكرا و... وانت حتى علمتني علمتك ايه انا و... علمتني يعني ما علمتني يعني حس... حسيت بمشاعري حسيت بمشاعري انا كان عندي مشاعر وأريد يعني يعرفون الناس إيش هي مشاعر هذول الأطفال اللي اللي هنا وأنت عارفة إن يسوع مش هيسيبك أبدا صح؟ ما راح يسيبنا إذا مؤمنة وثابتة بينه ما راح يسيبني طيب قولي لي أنت فاكرة ترنيمة أو فاكرة حاجة لما بتبقي قاعدة لوحدك كده بتحبي ترنميها أو تكلمي يسوع بيها ولا مش فاكرة ولا حاجة خالص؟ عندي ترا عندي ترانيم بتحبي تقولي أكتر واحدة أنت بتحبيها؟ تبقى صغيرة وقصيرة بس نسمعها منك، إيه رأيك؟ أكو واحدة I've seen the video many times and I'm in tears. But we must go on. Before I call on the, for the benediction, let me just um, say a few words that I can send uh, your way for a fa as a farewell. Uh, please uh, uh, 
you, you have all the, all the material with you, take it and study it if you, if you can. And if you want to support any of these causes by the methods described in the inserts uh, and the call to action that we've included, uh, please do so. This is, this is very important. Uh, also, uh, next, uh, uh, our next speaker in this hall will be Archon Mike Emanuel of Fox News on the 30th of March. And please save the date at 7 p.m. and uh, come and see, uh, uh, listen to him. He will speak on witnessing for our faith in the public arena. Um, join us, please. Also, I save the date, mark your calendars for next year, our second annual National Christian Rights and Freedom uh, Symposium is on March 12, 2016. March 12, 2016. And now it uh, gives me great pleasure to invite here Reverend Father Spiro Bogotas, Dean of St. Sophia Greek Orthodox Cathedral in Miami, and Vicar of Clergy for Southeast Florida to give us the benediction, Father Spiro. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you for giving us this opportunity to gather freely in your name in order to learn about our brothers and sisters who are and have been persecuted, oppressed, kept in captivity, and who have lost their lives. We ask that as we depart, you bring us home safely, armed with the wisdom, the knowledge, and the strength to spread that which we have learned to those who may not be aware Guide our steps as we work to bring your love to the world. You know by name all those who suffer. Give them the peace and the strength that only comes from you. And enlighten those who afflict our brothers and sisters. Lord, finally, we ask that you keep those who have given their lives eternal rest in the light of your countenance. For you are holy now and forever to the ages of ages. Amen. Go home safely, and we'll see you next year. Well, some of you this uh, the 30th.